Welcome. Today we're going to learn 10 do's and don'ts to avoid electric shocks at home. Most of us now working from home because of this pandemic situation. Many of the time we are working under pressure. Hence we are doing many mistakes when we're using electricity. Listen well and stop all incorrect practices if you are doing. Start the good practices from today. Okay, let's start. Milakshi, please go ahead. Thank you, Dulan. Okay, let's start. Never use a damaged extension cord. Even a slightly damaged extension cord can cause an accident. Throw it out. Do not hide an extension cord under a carpet. Over time, it may become damaged and cause a fire. If you have young children, keep extension cords out of reach. Children may chew on these and get a serious electric shock. Pull on the plug and not on the cable to unplug an electrical device. That way, you won't damage the electric cable. A damaged cable can cause an accident. Unplug the toaster before trying to dislodge stuck toast. It's simple and takes only a second. Always unplug the toaster before dislodging stuck toast. Never insert a utensil into a plugged toaster. The risks of electric shock are too high. Before changing a light bulb, switch off the light or unplug the lamp. One wrong move on the stepladder while you're unscrewing a light bulb could lead to an accident. Why take such a needless risk? Switch the light off before replacing the burnt out bulb, and make sure no one touches the switch while you're working. If the light fixture is not connected to a switch, example, a bedside or floor lamp, unplug it before replacing the bulb. Remember to never handle an electrical device or light bulb with wet hands. Water plus electricity equals danger. Make sure to locate electrical wires before drilling a hole in the wall. Use a stud and electricity detector. If it detects power behind the wall, drill only through the drywall and check to make sure there are no wires before drilling any further. If you damage an electric wire, you could cause an accident or a fire. If you have any doubts, don't do the job. Multi-outlets, get the right power bars. Be careful when using multi-outlet bars. Connecting too many devices that consume a lot of electricity could lead to overheating. Here are some solutions to avoid an electrical overload. Use a power bar with a built-in circuit breaker that cuts off the power in case of overload. Plug your various devices into different outlets. Unplug any devices you're not using. In addition, consider protecting your devices from overvoltage, which may be caused by lightning or other factors. Many power bars with a built-in circuit breaker are also equipped with a surge protector. Always unplug the iron before filling it with water. The same is true for all small appliances, including kettles and humidifiers. Water conducts electricity. If the water splashes and goes into the appliance, it could give you an electric shock. Remember, water plus electricity equals danger. In the bathroom, never use electrical devices if you are wet or the humidity level is high. The electrical outlets in the bathroom must have a protection system, called a ground fault circuit interrupter or GFCI, because they are near a source of water. The GFCI cuts power when water enters a plugged-in device, hairdryer, curling iron, razor, radio, cell phone. Remember, water plus electricity equals danger. Do not use electrical devices or extension cords near a pool. Use all electrical devices, radios, phones, tablets, etc., as far away as possible from any water. For additional security, use batteries or an electrical outlet with a protection system, such as a ground fault circuit interrupter. Mowing the lawn safely. If you have an electric lawnmower, make sure the cable is in good condition and be careful not to cut it by mowing over it. For additional safety, use the lawnmower only when the grass is dry. Make sure to plug your lawnmower into an outlet with a protection system, example, a ground fault circuit interrupter. Finally, wear shoes to reduce the risk of cuts. Okay guys, that's all for today. We'll meet from another important episode on next day. Stay safe.